Okay, so we've looked at we've got full color control over all our pivot lines, and we can also change the way that the lines are displayed. So pivot line display controls allow you to change your line style. If you want to go solid, just put the zero in there. And on the next tick you'll see the lines change to solid. Um, we can so we can go solid dash dot dash dot dash dot etc. There's there's basically five uh, settings which you can use but and just put in zero to four on the line style. We can also make the um, lines display them as rays if we want to as well. So if we go to a higher time scale, the ray function basically extends the lines into the future, um, which may, some people may may like. When the ray command or ray function is switched off, you can use a line extension function, which automatically extends the pivot line to um, midday the following day. And if you want to trim that by a, a set number of of minutes, you can actually enter that figure here. Okay. The other thing to notice is our pivot label sh label shift here. Um, if you want to sh move your pivot labels around, these are the pivot labels here. Um, PP, M3, etc., R1. We can add in the number of minutes we want to shift the label by. So on an hourly chart, which we're on at the moment, we may want to move the label slightly to the right if price action is in the way of, of the display. Um, if you wanted to do that, you just enter the number of minutes you want to shift it by. So if we want to move it by um, 60 minutes or an hour, just enter 60. So when we OK that, you'll notice on the next tick the pivot labels will move across by an hour or 60 minutes. So moving forward, let's have another look at some more functionality. So we can also vary the line lengths by period. So on our hourly charts, if we, for example, if we wanted to um, change the line length, the pivot line length, so that it was a little shorter, we can display that over uh, let's say for example three periods so if we OK that you can now see the line extent, the line length has been changed so it's displayed over basically three periods okay and you can do that, for, you can set uh, specific line lengths depending on each chart time frame and we also have our calculation display controls we can change the position of the pivot calculation data labels at the top of the screen and you can move those anywhere you want on the screen by using this data label position X and data label position Y so just like XY coordinates in the same way we can easily change our data, data label color um, so we may want to make that white and we can also change the size as well so we can make it a little bigger That's okay those changes and there you go, those changes are now reflected on the system. Let's move through uh, a little bit further. Again, we've got pivot visibility control, so we can change whether the, or whether the pivots are displayed on particular time frames. You may want, not want daily pivots on longer term charts like uh, daily and weekly or monthly. So in, in that case, if we wanted to restrict um, the daily pivot system, we just set the visibility, visibility on a particular chart to false so let's just check that now and we'll configure the daily and weekly so that there are no pivots displayed and there you go you're just getting a, a normal chart those vertical lines will have to be removed manually because they were, we drew those in manually and then moving back to the hourly time frame obviously you've got your pivots redrawn Okay, so that's your visibility. If we move down a little bit further, we've obviously got some control over our calculation point, um, which is the bullet with the blue dots, which I described earlier. We can change the color of those, and we can also hide them if we wish to. Um, so in this case, I'll just I'll just hide those. Demonstrate that functionality working for you, and you can now see. Just make this chart a little smaller. There are no calculation points being displayed, and we'll just put those back on again. The calculation points are really useful for just kind of sanity checking that your pivot calculation shift data is actually correct. 
So we'll show our calculation points again. Okay, those changes, and there you go, the blue dots have now appeared again. Uh, let's go back and just finish off the functionality here. Um, we've got, um, we can obviously change the calculation point colors um, with the calc point color control there. And we have various different uh, miscellaneous control functions such as hiding the M levels. Simple to do, just set that command to true and on the next tick you'll see the M level data in green disappear which has just been displayed there. We have a skip Sunday bars function which um, allows us to uh, base our automated calculation data on just obviously Monday to Friday um, high, low and close data. Um, we also have the option to display um, the previous high or low. If we turn that to false um, then the previous high and low will now disappear. Um, we can also change the color of the previous and high and low data as well. So that's simple to do. We'll just re-enable that and change the color. So we'll change that to yellow. There you go. Yesterday is high, yesterday is low, clearly displayed there in a different color. Uh, that's pretty much the uh, the extent of the Daily Pivots version 3 functionality. It's pretty much everything you'd want to do there in terms of controlling the way that the pivots are displayed and calculated on any chart time frame with the associated visibilities. Um, please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or comments or suggestions for improvement. Very happy to, to implement any sensible changes within the products. Um, and thank you very much for listening.